I wasn't even thinking when I was in Amsterdam of doing a project about Skid Row. I was uh, in Los Angeles for a holiday and I just bumped into the subject. So, um, but I knew I didn't even know what Skid Row was. I knew Dorothea Lang's Skid Row photography and I loved her pictures, but I was on a holiday in Los Angeles and walking around and then I see, saw all the homeless people and I was fascinated by two of their, those houses because one person was living next to the uh, building where, where I was staying but there was also another one living on sunset and he really had this home he had a lamp and he had beautiful things um, and it really looked like a home and sometimes his home was very neat and sometimes it was a mess and then I found out that he had psychological problems and that's what really got me and then somebody told me did you go to Skid Row and I didn't even know where Skid Row was so I decided to go there and then I was really like wow this is what's going on here in Los Angeles when you talk about Skid Row people are really afraid they are even afraid to drive into Skid Row with their car. But I think it's a very interesting community. There are a lot of people who went there and went there when they are uh, had, having a have very hard time, psychological problems and addiction problems. But a lot of them, because there's so much help and uh, the people who are, who are helping there are um, former addicts and they, they really know what's going on. So when they get their life back together, they really they want to stay there a lot of them because they made friends there and um, I think they they are afraid to to get lonely again or something like that. I walked the streets many times with General Dogen and he's this really black power guy and he looks like a Black Panther person and the first years I was walking around and I think he kept me on a distance. He was more like, who are you and what are you doing? And then I did a story for Amnesty International about personal belongings. And then I asked L.A. Ken, he's working for L.A. Ken. And I asked his, uh, their, their help. And then they told me, oh, General Dogen will help you. And then we walked the streets at night and during daytime. And he always told me beautiful stories about history of downtown Los Angeles because his parents uh, lived there and he grew up there and he's still living across the street from his father. I encountered friction uh, between the Mexicans and the uh, African Americans on Skid Row, but a lot of the Mexicans worked for the police and African Americans were living on the streets. And what they told me was this was a friction that started in prison because a lot of the people, uh, the people who are living on Skid Row went to prison and that was the place where the, the problems started. I'm Dutch and we're Calvinists. So my, I think my photography is always very quiet and minimalistic. I like to get close to them, I like to photograph the details and that's probably my fashion background. What I really like is to capture the neighborhood, the feeling of the neighborhood. And for me that was uh, the, the personal belongings but also the way the people lived and how they put the things together. But also the architecture because people in Holland don't know what downtown LA looks like, what Skid Row looks like. There's one person in the book that's, that's asleep, but first I asked her and then she said, oh, she agreed and then I took a picture from her and I didn't like the picture because she looked like a wild animal. She was very high at that moment. And then another day I saw her and she was asleep on the pavement and she looked innocent, but she also, it wasn't this wild, crazy woman. Uh, it was more a, hum a human person that was laying there and that's what I like much better. I think a lot of the people on Skid Row are mistreated because they think they are stupid and I never hear very many positive words about people from Skid Row. And they are just people like you and me. I always thought I can end up on a, in a, on a place like Skid Row.
life can be very hard and when it hits you very hard, I can imagine that you can get psychological problems or something like that and then end up on the streets.